They're back in their hair salon for the first time in 10 weeks. Stylists Alistair and Nikki are thrilled to be turning on the lights again, hoping they'll be allowed to reopen for good on July the 4th. There's sort of 15 of us normally working here. We probably do three or 400 clients a week. So for 10 years, I've been used to seeing, you know, hundreds of people a week. They've not taken a penny for months and are only surviving thanks to a government grant. We are very fortunate here. And I say that because there's not many salons in Leeds that have the space that we have. We've looked through the salon, looked how it spaces out. And as I say, we are really fortunate that we actually will be able to house all our stylists at one time. When you work in the beauty industry, you need to get close up and personal with your clients. The two metre distancing rule is impossible to stick to. So businesses say they need guidance as soon as possible as to how to operate. Well, this is why the government guidelines on exactly what PPE is needed uh, is important. You know, we're, we're relying on their scientific advisors to say, if you're working in close contact or physical contact with people, this is the PPE you need. At the L Boutique in Hillsborough, staff have already taken a guess at some of the safety equipment they're going to need in order to reopen. We've got all the antibacterial surface sprays, wipes, barbicide, visors. I have ordered some of the, the Perspex cough guard screens to like separate us. Obviously we can't social distance between the clients so hopefully that'll make people feel at ease sat less than two metres apart from us. We've already seen how people have had to fend for themselves during lockdown, having a go at some DIY haircuts, so demand for hair and beauty salons is going to be high. I look around and I think sometimes you don't realise what you've got until the pandemic. <laughs> uh, as far as the business is concerned, we're losing out on a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, we, we can't wait to get back. There's at least another month before some of these chairs could be busy again, and that can't come soon enough. Ian White, BBC Look North.